Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with an error occurred while renewing interface in the Ethernet. And this would come up as an error when you're running a command in the Windows PowerShell window. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this issue. It also may say unable to connect your DHCP server. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would recommend doing would be to open up the star menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, go ahead and select yes here. So the first thing I want you guys to do is type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Exactly how it appears on my screen here. So again, IP C O N F I G followed by a space and then forward slash flush DNS F L U S H D N S. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. Okay, should say successfully flushed your DNS resolve or cache. Next command we're going to type in is NETSH space WINSOCK, W I N S O C K, space reset, R E S E T. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to run this command as well. So we will have to restart our computer in order to complete the reset, which I would recommend doing at this point. So go ahead and just restart your device. Okay, so once your computer restarts, hopefully your issue should have been resolved. And if you attempt to run the command again, hopefully at that point you should be okay. A further thing you can try here would be to go ahead and just reset your network adapter. So we're going to go ahead and reset our network adapter here. So go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in network reset. Best result should come back with a network reset. Go ahead and left click on that.
network reset this will remove and reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches your PC will be restarted go ahead and select reset now and it's going to give you one final prompt here are you sure you want to reset your network settings go ahead and select yes close out of here and you will need to go ahead and restart your computer within the next five minutes or you could just manually go ahead and do it which is what I'm about to do right now Okay, there you go guys. Hopefully it should have been simple as that. You can go ahead and connect your computer back to the network you could choose. If you're using an Ethernet, it should automatically connect it. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.